What is going on YouTube? This is Superiority Rider Complex and in today's video we are going to be looking at some shiny speculations that I have drafted up for the free new Generation 9 starters for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet which like just uh, nearly, almost a week ago now were announced to be coming out in late 2022 and uh, the, pretty much the moment I saw that trailer I was thinking I've got to make some shiny speculations so here we are let's get right on with it. And first up, we're going to start off with a bit of indulgence, my personal favourite here, the adorable little grass cat, Sprigatito. What I looked at was the possibility of making its body an overall sort of tea tree minty green, and just changing the highlights on the rest of the body. But I was thinking there was something missing, so I decided to change the eye colour to a nice yellow which really complements the rest of the shiny. I felt like maybe, just maybe a Gen 7 style shiny, with just the highlights changing would really suit this thing down to a T. And as you can see here, you've got this beautiful, beautiful deep tea tree, almost reminiscent of shiny Decidueye, shiny Dartrix, all of these sort of shinies with that beautiful tea tree colour. And honestly, for a subtle shiny, this is how it should be done. Third shiny speculation, I decided to go really bold. There's a lot of different ideas going on here. First and foremost, the albino cat is one of the easiest and probably most obvious speculations I could have gone with here. I decided to add a beautiful gold highlight that those colours are a match made in heaven. I mean, just look at Shiny Poi Poi, for example. Um, but there was perhaps a few finishing touches needed, so I decided to add some turquoise blue eyes, which replicates the Odros Azules rare cat species, which simply transit to blue eyes. Wow! But this overall, overall shiny is just absolutely incredible. And for the last one, I'm making it look a bit more autumnal. So the body colour change, uh, a really nice vibrant yellow, but also decided to have some autumn coloured leaves and some green eyes just to finish it off. Next up, we have got the early front runner for popularity, Boy Coco, the fire alligator. So, really, it would have been rude not to uh, to turn this thing into a traditional alligator palette with the beautiful emerald green background colour. But I also wanted to make sure it still looks like a fire type, so I added a bit of red. Almost similar to how Totodol had a sort of greenish background and the blue skets. Second speculation, this is probably one of my absolute favourites of the ones that I produced here, an albino alligator. Rare in nature, rare in the Pokemon world. It makes it shiny after all. Um, this thing, apparently there may only be a couple hundred in the world. Wow! Oh, alligator with the magenta eyes. Also added the navy for some nice contrast. For the third speculation, I decided to go with an orange overall, which can be caused in nature by alligators swimming in waters contaminated by poo. Um, so yeah, uh, an interesting story there. But um, of course, decided to add um, a nice accent, um, sort of almost like peachy red colour for the uh, the rest of the body, just to contrast it against the orange. And fourth, fourth and final speculation for a Coco, it's Barney the dinosaur. <laughs> um, so yeah, I really, I really indulged myself in this one and came up with a fun concept. Um, I turned it purple overall. I swear I wasn't actually trying to make him look like Barney the Dinosaur, it just kind of was a happy accident because once I noticed the purple I was thinking well you don't often see purple with this sort of minty green colour and I thought it's a really unique combination of colours but also looks incredible. Why isn't it done more? So um, that's why I went with it. Last and in my opinion at least, not least, despite the community consensus is Quaxley. I really feel like this guy deserves more appreciation. So uh, that's exactly what I've given him with my shiny speculations. The first shiny speculation, I've gone with a candy floss pink for the main body and a much deeper pink for the hat. Really simple and effective. Also, you might, you might seem familiar from somewhere. It's almost as if it's similar to Ducklet shiny, you guessed it. Um, <laughs> playing up to the whole Ducklet link. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, huh? The second shiny speculation for Quaxley, I've decided to go with something a bit more subtle, demonstrating that less is more. And really, you don't have to go to town on a shiny for it to look good. 
subtle colour changes all around. Sky blue over all body, the deep blue hat and the highlight changes on the beak. Though I am acutely aware that unfortunately I might be playing up to the whole uh, Donald Duck connection. The third shiny speculation. I really indulged myself and went to town on the whole pirate theme. I mean it's often been remarked that he looks a bit like a pirate duck. Um, so I've decided to make him look like Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Um, so he's got this sort of um, cream overall body going on, almost a bit of a beard. Um, I'm, I'm not really sure, that, I mean given that those are supposed to be shadows, I'm not sure they would drastically change their colour like that. Again, as I said, it's not meant to be realistic, just had a bit of fun on this one to be honest. For the fourth and final speculation, I've decided to go with something that admittedly has been done before, but hey, it'd be rude not to do a rubber ducky shiny. So um, we've gone in with obviously the, um, the yellow background. Um, but what's really interesting here is the highlight colour, which um, is this really sort of unique maroon, which surprisingly goes really well with it. It doesn't ruin the overall rubber ducky theme, and it also keeps the uh, keeps the whole pirate vibe going on. So that marks the end of this video, and I'm now going to put up images of all of the speculations displayed today. So you can pause the video at this point, just have a good long look, and tell me in the comment section down below which one do you like the most, which one do you think is the most realistic, Maybe it's the same for both, I don't know, but let me know down below in the comments.